Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV. I'm here today with TCL CSOT. And we are here with Dr. Chow. Dr. Chow, how you doing, man? Good, good. So Dr. Chow, he's gonna explain a lot of technical stuff for us today because the displays behind the things that you see, when you see a TV or a panel, there's a lot of technology that goes behind it. And Dr. Chow's gonna explain some, some, some new stuff for us today, which is gonna be their inkjet printing technology. So here, I, is this the first we've ever seen in a laptop? Yeah, with inkjet printed technology. Inkjet printed technology display in a laptop. So why was it important to develop the inkjet technology for a display? This is a kind of a new technology. Okay. Traditional ones we use, we call them evaporate one. So we heat the material okay. and the material will deposit on the uh, substrates or glass mm -hmm. and then emitting light. And for the inkjet printed, we're using a solution process, like we print papers. So you're printing the LED? Yes. Get like, out of here. Like printing papers. That's, that's crazy. Okay. So how long have you been developing this technology? So TCL has been focused on inkjet printed for almost 10 years. Okay, a decade. Okay. Yeah. I've been in this field it's almost 10 years. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So we're just now seeing it in your laptops here. We have yeah. these three laptops and mm -hmm. then we have that 21.6 21 .6 21 .6 inch. inch yeah. monitor. Yeah. So are these consumer ready? Are these gonna be in the stores anytime soon? We are kind of step by step release the products. Okay. And the first one will be probably be the 21.6 inch. The monitor. And um, we'll have that at the end of this year. Okay. We will see that on the market. So this is going to be the first yes. one in the market. Yep. So we can we can check this out in real life. Okay. Yep. So why was this important? So uh, this new technology is it more sustainable than the other methods, mm -hmm. or is it more refined? What what is the process? Okay. We think this is um, kind of different way okay. to make the panel, and you can think that if we do we print papers, mm -hmm. we put the ink to the place we want. So there's no waste. All the material has been deposited onto the on the paper, right? So it's more efficient processing. More easy, yes. Okay. And that will bring to us that will be cheaper. Okay. Because the material usage is a lot higher. So more efficient manufacturing, mm -hmm. uh, more sustainable, yeah. uh, and more cost efficient. Yeah. Or, or it will cost less. Yeah. Okay. I'm all about saving some money. We got to save. Some money. Another thing. Another thing is, so I saw. I say evaporate. Okay. If we evaporate materials, mm -hmm. we need a vacuum, a high vacuum. Okay. But for printing, we put our printers in the in the air. Okay. So we don't need a vacuum. And then the electricity consuming will be lower. So less power consumption in the process. As yes. Well. Okay, so this is good all around yeah. for everything. Yes. The whole entire process is just it's more refined, better, yeah. easier, yeah. more cost efficient. All right, well, I'm seeing this gigantic panel here. Is this 65 inches? Yes. Okay, so this is inkjet print technology? Yes. So we've gone from laptops, it was this a 14? 14, 14 inch to a 21 inch to a 65, 65. inch panel. And this yes. panel looks really good in real life. So this is an OLED screen. It's just manufactured differently, yeah. but it, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. The, the color saturation is there and the viewing angles are good. And this yeah. is a curved screen, by the way. Mm -hmm. And it's 65 inches. Mm -hmm. And it's an ultra thin panel too. Yeah. Okay, so where else will we be seeing this technology in our consumer products? I see a medical device over there. Yeah. Is that a... Is that's the, the first one. Oh, that, that, that's... That will be the first one. Medical application will be the first one. And then we all do a, a monitor for customer, for the, uh, we call them uh, consumers. Con okay. Consumer applications. And then go to the notebook. So we'll start from the medical and then monitors and then notebooks, we'll do step by step. Ah, oh, outstanding, we'll say, okay, so the medical people, they get to play with the technology hey, yeah. first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's a mobile ultrasound? Yes. That yes. is super cool. Mm -hmm. And when I think ultrasound, the, only, the first thing I think about is babies. So, you can, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take care of the babies first. <laughs> and then we'll go to the monitors, very yeah. cool. Okay, so what else did you have to say about this new technology? Because I haven't seen it before, I've never heard of it before, mm -hmm. but it sounds like we're gonna be hearing a lot more about it in the near future. Okay, so last year, we attended the SID meeting. Mm -hmm. We bring some flexible ones. So we can also make them flexible. 
Okay. So when you say flexible, we have a curved screen here. It's not right? curved, like foldable, rollable. Rollable? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do you have that for display here? Not, not this today? year. Probably next year. <laughs> so rollable. Yeah. Flexible display. So we'll have folding phones. I see a. Uh, um, a tandem folding phone over there, but that's not inkjet technology. No. Yet. Okay, so and we'll that, have that's smaller one. So we have bigger. <laughs> oh man! Think I, about that. I can't <laughs> wait to see this. So when when can we come see this? Like next year? Probably next year. Maybe next year. Yeah. Okay. Now the clock is ticking, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Dr. Chow was showing us this prototype here. This is a 7.85 tandem tri-fold screen. This is nuts. So he's got one in his hand right here. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of this later, but this is incredible. So this thing will fold. Can you just kind of, it's yeah. like an accordion. Yeah, like this. Okay. So normally the, the foldable phones mm -hmm. just have one kind of one, one time fold. Right. And this one we do the tree fold. So we can okay. fold like this. Wow, okay. So, we, so once we fold it, it's a small one. Yeah. And we can uh, open it and you do a big, uh, become a large screen. And so does this fold both ways? Yeah, um, actually. Oh, well, this one. <gasps> yeah, we'll do a, we call them a 360 degree fold. 360 degree so fold. So it can fold inner fold and out fold. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I can imagine a, a, a lot of different applications for yeah. this. Maybe set it up on a desktop for, you know, travel and stuff like that for a smaller space yeah. to have your uh, device working for you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So. I know the world is going to be excited to see something like this yeah. in the real world. How, how much time in development are we in this? I need to ask my engineers <laughs> about that. I cannot guarantee this. You don't want to tell them. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we can see them soon. Okay. Thank you so much. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a brilliant display. It looks really good up here. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see it on the market. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing another display here and mm -hmm. I see under screen face authentication. Can you explain a little bit of this to me? Because I don't see any cameras or cutouts. Yeah, you can, you can, you can try it. So, okay. you, so you, you you cannot see any cameras on it, but you put your finger on top of that. That's you can your see. hand. Yeah. Okay, so no more camera cutouts. Okay, so this is going to take care of my face authentic. authentic uh -huh. I cannot say that word. Authentication. Face ID. Face ID. IR camera. Uh, finger. I uh, have say the um, the normal the photo camera. Okay. Things like all the cameras or sensors, back of the uh, on the back of the display. So now in our in our phone displays, we can have the whole screen mm -hmm. as just the screen and no mm -hmm. more interruptions with a camera cut out mm -hmm. or a hole. Yes. Oh, this is brilliant. This yeah. is going to be really great. And that means we can probably get rid of the fingerprint scanner because mm -hmm. the face ID is so mm -hmm. secure. Mm -hmm. It just looks so much better to just see a flat panel here with all of your display versus a camera yeah. cut out yeah. or a notch. Yeah. What is this right here that I'm looking at? Uh -huh. What is, can you explain this one? Okay. So. We are thinking about many methods to reduce the power consumption. Okay. You know, we need to increase the, the battery, the battery life. life. Yes. So that's important. Yes. So our engineers are thinking about a new way. So you know, once we use the phone, there are different regions. Okay. Right. So, so you, you know, refresh rate. Yeah. So, if normally once we set a refresh rate, it's 120 hertz six hertz for the entire screen, right? Mm -hmm. Now we separate the screen to different kind of zooms. What? So you can see on the top, it's 120 hertz, and all on the bottom, it will be 10 hertz. Wow. That will save the, okay, reduce so, the power consumption. So how is that used in application? So are we running two separate apps? No. Or just- So for some apps, YouTube, for example. Correct. There are Correct. some, uh, so, some part of them are screen, oh, the others are some, uh, you know, like the comments. comments. So the, for, the, for the screen, you have a higher refresh rate. You can see the motions better, but for the, for the, for the, for the comments, it's kind of stable. Image. Yeah. So we can, re, we can reduce, you can uh, decrease the refresh rate. That is that. genius. So this up here can be 60, 120 hertz, mm -hmm. and it, it's resizable. Yeah. And then down here, it could be 30 hertz or yep. looks like 10, it goes down to 10, 10 hertz. even one. All right, so let me just sum that up for the people who weren't paying attention. <laughs> if you're watching YouTube and you, you're watching it vertically, you have your video that you're watching, it's 120 hertz and it's playing super smooth. But down here in the comment section, you don't need that much power. You don't need that refresh rate. So it's down to 10 hertz. That is crazy. 
Right. That, and so that's going to save a lot of power on the phone. Yeah. Because instead of using the whole phone, mm -hmm. you use a portion. Yeah. And also we're developing kind of three Zoom and even more. Wow. Okay, we can separate them into multiple zooms. And some will be high refresh rate, some are lower refresh rate. That is really cool technology. I yeah. cannot wait to see this implemented in a phone. This okay. is going to save so much battery life. Yeah. yeah. And not bog down the system yeah. as well. That's that's cool. Yeah. So this is my first time hearing about this. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? Tell me you ha you can't have anything cooler <laughs> than this. You got anything else? Yeah. Uh, I see this 10.95 inch paper paper plus tablet display. This mm -hmm. looks it doesn't look like a like a tablet screen. This actually looks like art. <laughs> yeah. So we do a comparison here. Like this is like a a, a paper a let's say kind of. Uh, Paper-like. Okay. So is this like e-ink or is this a different no, type that's, of... No, that's that's just normal LCD. We okay. use some new technology to make them like a, look like a paper. Man, that really looks like paper. Yeah. Actually, this is it's, display. It feels like a screen, <laughs> but, but <laughs> it looks that? like paper. Yeah. That looks very natural and realistic as paper. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a lot easier on the eyes, correct? Yes. Okay. So we call them uh, the eye care technologies just to protect the eye. Okay, I'm, I'm good with this because my eyes are going bad. I just started wearing glasses last year and it's because I've been looking at screens too much. So this is <laughs> this should help. This is this is great. So are these photos? Okay, wow. Yeah, we wanna have- They look so this. real. Yeah. It looks very, yeah. very similar to this this actual photo right here. Are yeah. you tricking me? Is this a screen too? <laughs> no. Are you messing with me, man? Okay. The same, the same. <laughs> yeah, this looks really good. All right, cool. So this is, is this on the market now? Um, I think it should be coming to the market soon. This year, 2024? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. we don't want to get in trouble with the engineers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to lie on those guys. All right, so this should be on the market sometime in 2024. Mm -hmm. Can I pick this up? Is this okay? Yeah, 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 it's okay. It's right. no more pad. It's, man, it feels good. Feels like a quality tablet. Mm -hmm. 11 inch tab, nice. Mm -hmm. But the look of this screen, and there's no, hard reflection so yeah. it's not glaring yeah. into my so eyes. So you can see that there's a there's yeah. a bright light. I see on the it. Top. It's, it's, see. it's not it's not impeding anything yeah. right here. Yeah. I want this tablet. Can I can I have this one? Put in my ask back them, pocket. ask them. <laughs> <laughs> okay Dr. Chow it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your expertise and explaining this new inkjet printing technology. I cannot wait to see it out mm -hmm. in the real world. Mm -hmm. Now you guys keep being good to each other and we'll see you when we see you.